Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC and the blue shaded rectangle uh, BCDE put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this uh, side AB length is equal to this side BE length and moreover the area of this uh, right triangle ABC has been given to us as uh, 54 centimeter square and the side uh, DE length uh, is 15 centimeter and bear in mind that the AB segment length uh, is going to be less than the AC segment length and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, rectangle uh, BCDE please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating uh, the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, rectangle. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula. Area is always equal to the length uh, times the width. And we know the length of this blue rectangle is uh, 15 centimeter. And I'm going to label this width of this uh, blue rectangle as uh, lowercase uh, a. And now we are going to find the value of uh, lowercase a in order to calculate the area of the rectangle and now we know that uh, this uh, side a b length uh, equal to b e length if this length is lowercase a then this uh, a b side is going to be lowercase a as well and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a b c we know this uh, b c side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, DE length if this side is 15 centimeter then this BC side length is going to be 15 centimeter as well and moreover I'm going to label uh, this uh, AC side uh, as uh, X and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of this uh, triangle is uh, lowercase a and the height uh, is uh, X and moreover the area has been given to us as 54 so therefore we could write down 54 is going to be equal to a half times our base is lowercase a times height is x and now I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to remove this fraction and here we can see this 2 and 1 divided by 2 is gone so therefore a times x is going to be equal to 2 times 54 is going to give us uh, 108 and now I'm going to divide both sides by a to isolate x and make sure uh, a is uh, not equal to 0 and here we can see a and a is gone so therefore our x uh, value is going to be equal to 108 divided by a so therefore our this uh, x value is going to be equal to 108 divided by a so the side lengths uh, of this uh, right triangle abc turns out to be a 108 divided by a and 15 so we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this triangle to find the value of lowercase uh, a and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case the hypotenuse is 15 whereas our two other legs are lowercase a and 108 divided by a let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, a square plus uh, 108 divided by a whole square equals to 15 square and now I'm going to remove this fraction by multiplying by a square uh, across uh, the board with each and every term and here we can see a square times a square is going to give us uh, a power 4 plus this a square a square is gone so we just simply ended up with uh, 11,664 equals to 225 a square and now we are going to drag this uh, term to the left hand side so therefore we are ended up with uh, a power 4 minus 225 
a square plus uh, 11,664 equal to 0 and now let's make an observation a power 4 could be written as a square and then square once again so therefore we are going to make a substitution I'm going to let uh, x uh, equals to a square then we can see our uh, x square is going to be equal to simply a power 4 so that means uh, a power 4 could be written as uh, x square minus uh, this could be written as 225 times uh, x uh, plus uh, 11 664 equal to 0 so thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic uh, equation x square minus uh, 225 x plus uh, 11664 equal to 0 and we are going to solve this quadratic equation by grouping and factoring so therefore we are going to tweak this uh, middle terms uh, negative 225 x could be written as uh, negative 144 x minus 81 x and we know 144 times 81 is going to be equal to 11664 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, whole middle term with this one and now let's make an observation we can see x is in common between first two terms and we can see negative 81 is in common for the last two, two terms so therefore we could write uh, x time uh, x uh, minus 144 and here I'm going to factor out negative 81 and we are ended up with uh, x uh, minus 144 equal to 0 and here we can see x minus 144 and x minus 144 they are in common so therefore we could write uh, x uh, minus uh, 81 times uh, x minus 144 equal to 0 and since uh, these two factors equal to 0 I can split them I can separate them I can put down x uh, minus uh, 81 equal to 0 and the other one is going to be x minus uh, 144 equal to 0 so therefore for this first equation x is going to be equal to 81 for this uh, next equation x is going to be equal to positive 144 and now we know that uh, x uh, equals to a square at the very first place so I'm going to substitute this uh, x uh, with the uh, a square over here I'm going to replace x uh, with the a square over here as well so therefore a square is going to be equal to 81 and here a square equals to 144 and now I'm going to undo these squares I'm going to take the square root on both sides and likewise square root on both sides over here as well so therefore we could see for this first equation a value turns out to be positive 9 centimeter and for this second equation a value turns out to be positive 12 centimeter so we are ended up with two values of a 9 and 12 and we know a represents this uh, a b side length and bear in mind that a b must be less than a c so therefore we are going to accept a equals to 9 centimeter value and we are going to reject uh, the bigger value of a which is 12 so therefore our lowercase a value simply turns out to be 9 centimeter and since our uh, this uh, lowercase a value turns out to be 9 then this uh, be length which is lowercase a is going to be 9 centimeter as well and here is our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded rectangle b c d e and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula once again area equals to length uh, times the width and in our case uh, the length of this uh, rectangle is 15 centimeter whereas the width is 9 centimeter so therefore uh, the blue rectangle area is going to be our length is 15 times the width is uh, 9 and if we multiply that is going to give us uh, 135 centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, blue rectangle turns out to be 135 centimeter square 
So therefore we can write the area of this uh, blue rectangle is going to be 135 centimeter square. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.